everybody, my name is Cody, and welcome to the SEM Vlog. This will be a vlog about my experiences going to Concordia Seminary, St. Louis for my fourth year of seminary training. In this episode, we're just going to talk about uh, the drive back to St. Louis from San Antonio. It's going to be two days of driving, one day to Dallas and to Little Rock, and tomorrow we're going to go the rest of the way, all the way back to the Midwest. The day started out with a lot of driving pretty early in the morning, going up on I-35 through New Braunfels and eventually uh, over to Austin. This was a pretty easy drive, especially early in the morning on a Saturday. There weren't a whole lot of people on the road and it was just a fun time. Got to listen to some music, catch up on some podcasts, and I really couldn't complain. It was a little weird driving on I-35 again after I've spent so much time in Houston this past year. I don't think I've made this drive at all in the past 18 months or so. And so it was a lot of getting my bearings and finding the spots, the landmarks that I remembered so well. I had made some plans to get lunch with my friends in Dallas around noon, some old friends from Texas A&M at the Rodeo Goat. It was Sarah and Kristen and Nathan. These were three of my freshmen when I was a senior at Texas A&M, and it's always good to see them again. We couldn't stay long. I had to get back on the road so I could make it to Little Rock in time for the evening. And let's just say that drive was absolutely beautiful. I got into Little Rock just as the sun was setting to end that first day of driving, and thankfully, I had a place to stay. My friend James and his parents opened up their home to me, set up a room for me, gave me towels and fresh sheets and everything, and most importantly, they had some dinner ready for me in the fridge. A little leftover pizza from Domino's and a cold glass of milk always hits the stomach after a long day of driving, but I couldn't stay long. I had to get back on the road first thing the next morning. It was a great start to the second day of driving coming out of Little Rock. I felt really well rested, ready to take on the day, and there was only five and a half hours left until I got back to St. Louis. I was just really trying to soak it all up, take it all in, and enjoy the beautiful morning. When I got two hours into driving, I had to take a pit stop real quick at this gas station in Pocahontas, Arkansas. This is about the halfway point for me in driving between Little Rock and St. Louis. It's a good spot to stretch my legs and most importantly, have a little bit of breakfast. This is also part of the drive that gets just a little bit frustrating for me. There's this single lane road that stretches between Pocahontas and Corning, Arkansas for about 45 minutes. And I just happen to get stuck behind the one trailer hauling about a dozen cars off to somewhere. My face kind of says it all here. Thankfully, by the time we got to Corning, Arkansas, we were able to get to the Missouri border where it opened back up to two lanes and I just got to count down the signs until I finally made it to St. Louis. Getting back to St. Louis was really a sight for sore eyes. It was a relief to turn off the GPS for a few minutes and just take in all the sights that I remembered so well, especially as I got back to campus. Once I got back to campus, it was pretty easy to check in, get my room key, and get settled in my brand new dormitory. Well, it's been two days, but I am back at the seminary. Uh, I am all unpacked. My room is full of my stuff now. And uh, man, I'm just ready for this semester to get underway. Uh, before we leave, I wanted to give you guys a couple of quick thoughts that I had over the last few days while I was driving, uh, kind of three main feelings that uh, I've been going through ever since this you know, uh, transition back to St. Louis really started. Uh, the first really big feeling I've got uh, going on inside of me is just excitement. I am excited to see all my friends again. I'm excited to be back in a place that uh, is familiar to me and that I honestly love. Uh, I'm excited to see what all God can do uh, through the classes, through the time I have to, to continue to learn and study his word uh, and all that he's doing in his church. Uh, I'm excited to be a part of the local church that I have here in St. Louis Emmanuel. I'm really looking forward to working with them uh, a lot more. I'm also just incredibly grateful. That's really the second big feeling I've had the last couple of days is 
you know, every time I, I make that drive to St. Louis, you kind of end up doing some, some self-reflection, right? And I was just thinking about where I was physically, emotionally, mentally the last few times I made that drive. And I whew, am just really glad that I'm not in some of those same places and spaces now. Um, God has done so much. Uh, in this past year, especially to mold me and to form me, to give me the confidence to, to be a minister and a preacher of his word. And I just don't want to take anything for granted. I want to uh, practice gratitude and thanks a little bit more, uh, just as a challenge to myself. And so I'm really excited and I'm really grateful to be here. And the last big feeling that I have is just realistically a sense of, of anxiety with uh, the transition, but also with the reality that <laughs> A year from now, I don't know where I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be at a church somewhere in the greater United States, but uh, that could be a place close to home in Texas. That could be a place um, whose setting and style is very familiar and comfortable to me. It could also be a place that's far from home and foreign to me in more ways than one. Uh, and so the challenge for me this next year, as that season just kind of inches its way to the horizon is just to keep an open hand, to stay prayerful and stay hopeful that God is going to hold me up and do everything he's always promised to do. Um, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm grateful to be here and, you know, in a healthy way, just a little bit nervous as to what God actually has in store because I don't know. And that all being said, thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, this is sort of the style that I'm going to try to do for the rest of the SEM vlogs. Just a little bit more production value, a little bit more time and effort put into the whole process for my sake and hopefully for yours too, um, just to make it a, a story being shown rather than just told, right? I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you do. Let me know what you'd like to see, what parts of seminary you want me to explore or show you guys. Uh, I plan the next video to be just a campus tour of the seminary, showing you guys around the buildings, the places where I'll be going to class and eating and all that fun stuff. But uh, more of that to come. Thank you so much as always for your prayers and your support, and I'll see you guys next time.